Hey creators, Jack Conti here, CEO of Patreon. The world's about to look really different. The internet has set the stage for a second renaissance. And it's gonna be on par with or, or bigger than the first renaissance. And I don't think anybody really knows how important this is gonna be for human history. And so I wanted to show you this because I think this is gonna be a big deal for creators. And so, so here's what I mean. People are more connected than we've ever been in history. Every year there's more and more people coming online to the point where now there's over 4 billion people that are connected around the world. Two and a half billion of them are on Facebook and over 2 billion people use YouTube every month, which is now in over 100 countries and 80 languages. And oh my goodness, people love YouTube videos. People watch over a billion hours of YouTube every single day. We're just more connected than we've ever been. Not only are humans more connected, but the barrier to entry for creation has basically dropped to zero. Creation tools like this phone that now over three billion of us have in our pockets are cheap and ubiquitous. Okay, you might be thinking, Jack, smartphones are really expensive. What do you mean cheap? I hear you, but the other night I watched Murder on the Orient Express, the one from the 70s, directed by Sidney Lumet. Murder on the Orient Express. And films like that used to require budgets of tens of millions of dollars to make. This thing takes higher fidelity video than the giant expensive ass cameras used to film that movie. Compared to how things used to be, creation tools on the whole are cheaper than they've ever been. And by creation tools, I'm not just talking about phones. I'm talking about things like this 360 camera, which I ordered on Amazon for a few hundred bucks and it showed up at my doorstep in a couple days. I got this piano on Craigslist for 50 bucks. This accordion was 180 bucks. This is a flying camera that literally costs a few hundred bucks and replaces a helicopter and million dollar budgets. It's cheaper and more accessible and easier to make creative stuff than it's ever been in human history. Okay, so let's back up here because there are two really important trends here setting the stage for the second renaissance. First, we're all connected. For the first time in human history, we can all reach each other through Facebook and YouTube and the internet itself. Second, creation tools. Making stuff is cheap and easy. And if you combine those two trends, you get an explosion in the number of creative people making stuff and reaching others with the stuff they make. And then suddenly this study makes a ton of sense. It's by Recreate Coalition. It's called The Growth of America's New Creative Economy. In 2017 alone, there were over 16.9 million Americans who made money from their creative work. And we estimate that over three quarters of creators are outside of the United States. Still, just those almost 17 million Americans made almost $6.8 billion from their creative work in 2017 on these nine platforms. Something is happening right now. And that something is the beginning of the second renaissance. But it's not all quite lined up just right yet. There's a problem. This is an actual snapshot of my YouTube dashboard from a 28 day period that shows 1 million views and $166 of ad earnings for those views. The creative stuff that we made that our fans loved and appreciated, those videos were generating almost $0 of income for us. Okay, so here's what's happening. It starts with creators, and creators make art. Tech companies call this content, but creators have been making art for thousands of years, so it's not filling a hole. It's important stuff, it's art. So creators upload that art onto the internet, which is essentially this giant machine that adds consumers and advertisers to the art to generate ad revenue. 
The problem is this ad revenue just isn't enough. It's not a very efficient machine. And so creators don't have enough money to reinvest in their art and push the web into the next phase of creativity. Okay, wait, cause I know you're probably thinking, Jack, this video is so self-serving. You're saying that Patreon is the answer that leads to the second renaissance? God, I can't believe I just fell for watching five minutes of content marketing. No, that's not what I'm saying. Other companies are also starting to realize that the ad machine isn't enough. YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, Twitter, Twitch, all these companies are starting to realize that the financial engine room of the web is broken. And as all these companies start to fix it simultaneously and essentially compete with each other to get creators paid, that will be the slingshot that propels us into a new self-perpetuating cycle that will culminate in the second renaissance. So here's the cycle as I see it. Right now there are more creators than there have ever been. That means that the distribution platforms are competing to get creators paid as they realize that ad revenue isn't really cutting it. So as the distribution platforms get better at helping creators get paid, that's gonna lead to creators building stronger and stronger businesses over time, which is gonna lead to professional creativity becoming normal. As it becomes normal for a creator to just build a business and run a business and make a living, um, and not just make a living, but to, to crush it, kids growing up are gonna realize that being a creator is an option that is available to them. And that's gonna lead to even more creators, which is gonna lead to more competition to get creators paid, which is gonna lead to creators building even stronger businesses, which is gonna lead to even more professional creativity. And then this cycle of more creators and competition to get creators paid and creators building strong, amazing businesses is just gonna repeat and repeat and repeat. And that's gonna create a second renaissance of the internet and of the world and of creativity where being a professional artist is something that is no longer a dream, but it's an absolute reality. Art and artists? are about to be valued and courted in a way that they haven't been for hundreds of years. And if you're a creator and you're alive over the next couple decades, you're about to be part of something incredible.